Hello, it's Lolly, and I'm back with a quick thrift store haul. And I got some clothing there, but I'm not going to share that just because let's just get to the crafty stuff, right? <laughs> okay. Well, and this is not crafty, but who could resist that, right? Look at this recipe book. Oh my gosh. Like I needed that, right? So it was a $2 book. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm in trouble. It's got some really cool stuff in here. So anyway, that'll be fun. Okay, but now I did get this because it's for crafting. I'm going to make a journal out of this, and I noticed that it's really hard to find Dr. Seuss books in really good condition, so I was willing to spend a little extra to get this one. Okay, next, um, I did get this little creamer. I just thought it was adorable. Okay, but now, crafty, crafty stuff. Now, I didn't get much. Uh, we went to several thrift stores, and this is one of the things I got. We went into a thrift store, and as we walked in, they said they were having a sale for Memorial Day, and they said everything in the store is $3, uh, unless it was automatically less than that to begin with, then it would be half price. So I found this wooden box, not, you know, ultra thrilled with the... Uh, the cow thing. You can see it's pretty worn out and everything, but I thought I might sand that down, but what I wanted it for was this. So I think it had been marked as a $5 box, so I got it for three, but obviously I'm going to put runners in it and make it into another memory decks box. And if you kept the cards really short, you might be able to still put this in there, but I think what we're going to do is sand it down, ask my husband to trim it a little bit, and then maybe use it as a marker box. Right now it's just too tall, it could only hold basically rulers. <laughs> so I thought if you could trim it down and I could paint it, maybe Mod Podge it. And I went into another store and found this box and I just love this one because look, Boyd's Bears. If you're familiar with Boyd's Bears at all, I love their teddy bears. And except no substitutes, isn't that cute? And the cards just fit. So I won't be able to embellish, you know, on the sides of the cards. I have to make sure the embellishments don't stick out. But it's perfect. It's shallow. I just love it. I just think it's so great. There's a little piece of um, electrical tape there. I will take that off and see what it needs to repair it. Okay, now I've got to pause the camera and get this next thing. No, I'll just let it go. So this is heavy. Uh -huh. Here it comes. So, this is the same thrift store that had everything in the store is, is $3. Now, if you, can you see this? It says $300. So, let me go around so you can see all of it. There's my messy craft area behind it, Underwood. All the keys are intact, but they do, you know, they're like um, cloudy and some are cracked, but still, it's in excellent shape. And I showed this to my husband, and I said, oh my goodness, it's, they said everything in the store is $3. He said, not that, honey. Look, they're asking $300 for it. And I said, they said everything is $3. So I held on to it like this <laughs> to make sure nobody would come grab it. And I had my husband go up to the desk, bless his heart. He went to the desk and said, uh, there's an old typewriter back there. Is that $3 too? And she said, yeah, everything in the store. So yes, folks, we got this for $3. It weighs a ton. <laughs> it's pretty dusty. I need to clean it up. But how cool is this? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even in the market for it. So, uh, but there is a possibility upon cleaning it that I still may sell it off. I don't know. But for right now, I just what a what a bargain for that, huh? So that was my thrifting adventure. We did, like I said, I got that and I got a couple of clothing items, and that's about it this time around. But this was such a steal. I couldn't help but share it with you. Thank you for watching.